Hello everyone and welcome to another video and I'm not starting this video with a joke and today we're not actually talking about uh, the, the very obvious thing um, and if you're wondering about the music why this music it's beyond seven nine is beyond seven see and yes eight would have worked too but that's not what I ended up finding in my uh, anyway uh, let's talk about uh, the FF7 remake uh, collaboration because this Saturday at 8 p.m. Japanese Standard Time uh, will be the live stream where the details will first be revealed. Not all of the details, of course. Some will be de dealt out with uh, the news at a uh, the in-game news probably next Monday, and then Wednesday at well, you know, Tuesday at the stroke of midnight, turning over to Wednesday on the 21st. That will be when all of the content is live for the JP side, or at least the first week. All right, but with that being said, I don't want to really want to talk about it. We've done predictions, we've done thought, and I've done warning people about the fact that Seven uh, Remake Collaboration is coming. I actually want to talk about what's to come after it, because in a gacha game, you always have to remember that there is a potentially scarier banner that is right behind it with a knife. It's literally in your house at the same time you are and it's there call the cops get out yeah uh, there's always another banner and it's always scarier because uh seven will be a massive drain of resources and globalers will undoubtedly have are already bookmarking resources for seven you know it's only three months out better start saving and that is a strong point, but JP side is going to be starting its 1.5 anniversary or, you know, at least that rough, rough time frame. Last year, the 0.5 anniversary was, you know, interesting. There was the voting campaign. There was Glassy coming to the game. There was Laswell. Um, we had just gotten through kind of like a Final Fantasy Tactics stint. And uh, there was, you know, Final Fantasy IV was going to be coming up. And so there's this interesting period where I, I think given the fact that, and I guess kind of spoiler, Book 2 has started on the JP side. And this will contain some spoilers for Book 2, but I'll try and keep it light for at least the next minute. I think that we're going to see a really big uh, story character banner almost immediately after Final Fantasy VII has come and gone, and that is potentially more uh, important to get than, um, you know, Seven and Seven's characters. Seven's characters hold a lot of nostalgia for people, but you should never underestimate a very, very powerful uh, story character. Mont, exa for example, was a kind of a big step for tanks uh, after Final Fantasy X collaboration had come and gone. And not only that, but um, uh, after Nier had gone too, Mont was a really strong competition and essentially was a big meta hallmark on the JP side. There were a lot of Mont's that started showing up and he was difficult to get through. Um, I expect that to be kind of a similar thing with this anniversary as well. Uh, my personal bet is probably on Jaden uh, coming to a very, like being a double cost unit shortly after Final Fantasy VII has come and gone. And I expect him to be a major jump in terms of what DPS can do uh, at a range. I think that he will be a major step up for range units as a class. Jaden is kind of known for having that Gatling gun and just... Uh, could be a massive chainer as well and potentially a important chainer for people to be able to dish out more damage going forward because AP side has been seeing more and more uh, high difficulty content. It's slowly starting to creep in the idea that 120s are going to be more needed but more importantly than that a team of 120s are going to be potentially needed as level 115 job level 22 content is starting to show up on a regular basis. And that is noteworthy. I mean, like, taking a look at this, and this is when we'll start dealing more into spoilers, but looking into book two, uh, just the idea of the Hinder Nation and the OS Nation, 
there are a lot of major characters in these stories that uh, I think are going to be ending up coming to the game rather quickly uh, because of just the sheer volume of them. And if, you know, we do want to start getting into uh, still side stories uh, going forward, then you're probably going to have, you're going to be a little bit of a deluge of characters. There is no shortage of characters that need to be coming to the game and quite a few that, you know, even I'm a little bit scared about, you know, Hindra's nation, for instance, is one that I'm really hyped for. So, yeah, beyond the seven, uh, like there could also be Glassy's alternate version. It has been a long time since we've heard anything about it, but the, if it's, you know, if it doesn't show up by the one year anniversary, I don't think it's happening anymore because it shouldn't even take that long. There's also just more of a general introduction of these non-limit burst characters like uh, Ramir here and Cowlet. Uh, both of those characters who recently came to the JP side, uh, short of not having limit bursts, are actually really solid characters but still uh, appear in the gacha diluting the gacha pool after their focus banner is gone. Somebody even said to me once, well, Umbra, sure, Ramir is in there, but um, if you wanted Velric, well, Velric is, I mean, like, they both have uprates on the banner. Yeah, that's not necessarily a bad thing when that's there, but uh, after they're gone, these characters not having limit burst doesn't feel as great as potentially getting a Velric or, you know, a fully fledged character, for lack of a better term. Sorry, everybody, but um, those non-limit burst characters hurt my soul, especially Thancred. But yeah, taking a look at it, there's also the implications upon gill banners uh, and potentially getting, you know, character shards for these characters while they are around. Gill banners, uh, or sorry, gold banners, are a way for you to just get character shards uh, without having to spend any resources or potentially having get the character. Some people didn't like the hard quest for new characters once uh, they came to the game because, oh, if I don't get the character, well, then I can't get the character shards when he first comes out. Yeah, that is a problem. By the way, this is what it looks like a lot of the time, except it's all blue. So yeah, honestly, I mean, like, it's important to remember that Seven is a pretty big hype moment for the community in general, uh, because there is a lot of potential for a lot of cool stuff. This is what it looks like most of the time for anybody. For all you globalers who are looking forward to gold banners, what it looks like, but... Ooh, the chance of getting, like, a UR shards for just gold is... really nice. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's it's fine to be excited for Seven and all of the stuff and potentially four characters and all of that. But you should also take uh, just, you know, a moment and remember that there is going to be stuff after it. And I do think it's going to be pretty major stuff after it. With an a half anniversary coming after, something big will be coming. We just don't entirely know what yet. But, plan your resources. Uh, and remember that it is a good idea to commit to something in this game, uh, potentially, unless you're, you know, if you're pulling after 100,000 Lapis, probably not meant to be. Sun cost fallacy. So yeah, uh, that's kind of my thoughts. Uh, I just wanted to put this out there before we get into the 7 remake craziness. And even just kind of clear my mind before we start getting into the 7 remake content. There will be more characters, there will be more collaborations, and uh, probably more summer units coming up very shortly, both for the JP and the global side. So, it's going to be an interesting couple of months, especially for the JP side, getting into that anniversary time. But anyway... If you have any predictions or want to throw out any wild speculation, go ahead and throw it in the comment section below. And, um... Sephiroth is not coming. Yuffie is. Yuffie is definitely... It's 99.9% Yuffie. It just is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. 
And uh, see you next time.